Hi, the Astro 30 here, and I don't like having broken things around, just like that DSO shell that doesn't work anymore. One day I might get to repairing that, but today I'm going to attempt to repair this. <laughs> Greetings, the Astro 30 here yet again, probably with a short video, and it may never even get uploaded because I don't know if I can actually repair this. This is a uh, Vox AM Plug 2, which is designed to plug into your bass guitar and has an auxiliary socket here, so you can plug a source of music in to play along with it. Now, unfortunately, I had this plugged into the bass and I hit up against the bed frame with it and slightly damaged this this uh, plug but managed to rip the uh, socket auxiliary socket clean off the circuit board and one of the traces has broken actually all the traces is broken so I need to open it up and see if this can be indeed repaired so I'll just take out the little screw here and that's right, this is clipped together. I've already removed the back cover and the batteries. Just be careful, there are wires to the battery holder here. So, as we can see, the socket's just sort of like floating around. So I need to somehow fix this. But in order to fix it, I'm going to need to know where the traces go that are under the socket so I can then hardwire some wires to fix it. I don't know if I've got thin enough wire for that, but I can sure try. Right, well I've found where the ground is by measuring the negative battery terminal and this part here. I've scraped away a bit of the protective coating on the circuit board. The wire the one with the uh, trace still connected to is actually broken off of here as well, so that's going to be a challenge to solder. Might have to put a little short link of wire there. But where the other channel goes, goes into this point here and then just buggers off somewhere else. I'm not sure if it's um, part of this or not. So I'm going to try and scrape some of the protection off of here and put a few blobs of solder around where I need to join it and see if I can solder the socket back onto those said blobs. That is going to be the challenge and a half right now. And yes, I'm using a multimeter probe because it's the handy thing at the moment to use. I just need to get rid of some of the green protection stuff so I'll see if that works if this doesn't work it doesn't work and this soldering iron tip is way too big for the job but I'm going with what I've got getting it to take to the copper is going to be the challenge now May not be scraped enough. Okay, I got the blobs to take. Here comes the bum part. Try and see if I can actually get it to solder to the set blobs. That was hot. Very hot. Somehow, I don't think this is going to work too well. Oh, that side took. 
see if I can get this side to take. Um, I don't know if that did actually take. The socket's a little bit crooked, but let's just see if we've got continuity to ground now. Yes, we do. So now I need to somehow fix this trace so that that's connected. Um, so. Solder. Now, looking at this, I hope I just didn't get rid of a transistor off the board. Doesn't look like it. Um, yes, yeah, so I need to get that one to take over here. I forgot about that. See if that's got continuity to that solder blob over there. Apparently. So this one should be continuous to over here somewhere. But now I need to make it continuous to that point. Okay, so because that's a separate trace there, so I need a little piece of wire. Okay, so I've got a bit of hookup wire here, which I'll just gently somehow lay into position. Not that I can actually see what I'm doing. get in there. Brilliant, I've got the solder blob all over the frickin' switch. Which I did not want to do. Now this is a lot more difficult than it looks, let me tell you. This Chinese electronics crap. I can't see what I'm doing. Neither can you, so that makes two of us. Shakes bad too. Okay, that's joined electrically. So that's joined electrically now. I'll try and cut this wire off now, as I can. There we go. Don't know how solid that is going to be, but. A little bit better than I thought it would turn out. So now the thing would be to test it, I guess. Um, I might as well just snap the whole thing back together so nothing else goes wrong here. So I might do that. get this to agree with me, it'd be nice. Alright, I'm going to put the screw back in wherever that's buggered off to. Look at my pen, I've got solder stuck to it. Jesus. Alright, now. back together I'll just pop the batteries back in and put the cover back on 
Now, I'll need to put on some headphones so I can hear it. You guys probably won't be able to hear it. Well, definitely won't be able to hear it until I put it either on my interface or something. But for now, I'm just going to test to see if it works. Wherever the headphones have gone, they've disappeared. I've got the plug, but I can't find the headphones. Oh, that's handy. Oh, they're on the floor. All right. Tangled up in everything else. Going to need to get a new pair of headphones too. This cable's starting to fray. All right, headphones are on. Power is on. Really? won't stay on. What the f is going on here? Okay, maybe the batteries are flat, so time to change batteries. It has been, well, probably a year now since I've actually looked at this. So it might need new batteries. If I've got any. Alright, got fresh AAA batteries. They're Polaroid ones, yes. They're not the best batteries in the world, but they're cheap. Certainly do for testing this out. Let's try that again. Nope. I'm starting if I hold the button. But I think I've now caused another problem. Alright, well of course another problem that it won't stay on. The question is, uh, does the audio jack work? I don't know where my f***ing cable is. Alright, I found the auxiliary lead. Plugs in. Can't find the other end of it now. Nothing. I give up. That's what I think of that piece of junk. This. Okay, and this is what happens when you're not really paying attention and you're trying to rush. Things like this happen, where the transistor, which I believe controls the on-off state of the circuit, like its latching ability, from a momentary push button via the uh, MCU and using a soldering iron tip that's way too big. This is not an appropriate size tip for the work I was doing. I tried. That's what happens. You end up knocking components off the board accidentally. I slipped with the soldering iron. Transistor, I don't know where it went. They're only small, probably measuring around about the one or two millimeter square type size. Maybe it got stuck to the end of the tip and I wiped it off. I never found it again. So this is what happens. So I wasn't originally going to upload this video. I shot it about six to seven months ago, but I don't mind sharing with you guys my fails. I tried to repair the Vox AM plug two. Complete fail. But anyway, I hope you found this uh, video enjoyable watching my frustrations. And if you did enjoy this video, please remember to rate, comment and subscribe below. And you can always follow me on Facebook and you can become a Patreon supporter for as little as a dollar a month. I would like some more patrons, please. Anyhow, this is Astro Theory saying see ya. See you in the next video.